Hi, I'm Steven with MikeReynolds.com, and today we're talking about frequency range and frequency response. This is the third way that we use um, to refine your search for a microphone. The first two were type and pickup pattern. And if you missed those, you can watch them on some earlier videos, and then come back and join us for frequency range and response. So what is frequency range and frequency response? Frequency range is how much of the spectrum a microphone responds to. A mic capable of responding to the full frequency range is rated from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. This is also known as the human range of hearing. Frequency responses measure how well the microphone responds at each given frequency, usually shown in a frequency response chart or graph. You can find these on our site when you click on a microphone. It's right next to the polar pickup pattern graph. Frequency response charts can also show the response differences when the sound source is at different proximities, usually affecting the low end of the spectrum. What that means is as you get the microphone closer to your mouth, that's called the proximity effect. The low end on the frequency response chart goes up. And as it's pulled away from the mouth, the low end of the frequency response chart goes down. The frequency response chart can also be used to show you when a high pass filter or low cut filter on a mic is activated. So why is frequency response important? Well, it's important to know how a microphone is gonna to respond to the desired sound source. Let me explain that. So let's just say I want a microphone, uh, put a microphone on a hi-hat. Uh, the ideal microphone for this is gonna be something like the AKG C451B. This microphone is tailored for instruments like the hi-hat. It has very little low end frequency response. It also has a high pass filter to get less low end frequency response, as well as a bump in the high end for brightness. Perfect for a hi hat. Now, in contrast, the Shure Beta 52A is tailored for kicks and bass amps because this has great low end frequency response. However, it doesn't have a great high end frequency response. That wraps up frequency response and range for today. I'm Steven with MikeReynolds.com.